Hi everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. Today I'm here with the video that a lot of you have requested to see and that is me talking about um, whether or not I decided to keep the Chanel DeVille in the color gray with the black trim. Um, I d did do an unboxing video of that as most of you have seen. If not, then I'm just going to link it in the description in the description bar that way you can check it out if you're interested to see what bag I exchanged uh, this one for. So um, as many of you know I love the style of the bag. I liked the size, the shape. Um, the color was nice but being because it was a fabric um, it, it was a coated tweed. They said it's a coated tweed. I don't know I could be wrong but um, that's what they said the material is is a coated uh, tweed so um, like I said correct me if you guys know and you know I may be wrong but and I do know that the material was is coated but um, it does have the leather handles and then the chain handles the shoulder handles those um, have the of silver chain and then it has the tweed the fabric tweed woven into the chain instead of you know uh, the typical leather running through the chain. So I wasn't too concerned about that. I didn't like it, but I wasn't too concerned about that. What concerned me was it did have feet at the bottom, but t very tiny, tiny feet at the bottom of the bag. So obviously if you sit it down, it's a, it's kind of a slouchy bag. It is a slouchy bag, but it has a little bit of, um, a tiny bit of structure with like the piping on the sides of the bag. But still, and um, so I was concerned with that because if I if I sat it down somewhere, then obviously it's going to get dirt on it. Um, if I wore dark jeans, it's going to get color transfer. You know, it's basically inevitable. It's a big tote, so it's going to have to sit on my lap or however I decide to hold it, carry it, depending on where I'm going. So I wanted a carefree tote, and I don't know why I assumed or I don't know why what made me think that this was going to be a carefree one being that it was a material bag but I like the look of it I just love the look of it and the, just the whole style and everything so anyway um as you all know if I mean you know if you do know do your research the bag was twenty six hundred dollars and for that much money I wanted something that I did, ha did not have to fuss over obviously I take care of my bags um I but I don't fuss over them. I just take good care of them and I'm careful to where I set them down and you know what I do with them. I just don't toss them around and stuff. So, you know, with that being said, I just spoke to, um, uh, the sales associate, the personal shopper with her side first. And she said, you know what, bring, uh, just send the bag back and exchange it. And I said, so what other totes do you have? And I said, I just love this style of tote. And she goes, well, we have you seen the leather ones. And so I did was doing my research and she sent me some pictures and I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find not one review on, on the leather version of the, the DuVille um, until I watch um, Alex, who is HRH Collection, and she does vlogs. Um, I will link her channel in the description box below as well. She is just, she's so much fun to watch and she loves Chanel handbags and, um, she had the cream version of the one that I'm about to show you and I just fell in love with it because she just used it carefree and she you know she even put her little dog in it and all this and that now um you know so it was pretty much I guess she purchased it for a carefree bag and to throw her stuff in there and all that so anyway um uh if you follow her you'll know probably figure out what bag I'm talking about so without further ado um I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bag um, it does come in a huge box and also, um, I did unbox it. I unboxed it yesterday. It came Thursday. I was just too excited to, uh, just wait till today to open it. So I decided to go ahead and open it. I wanted to look at it and I wanted to, to, to see the bag. So anyway, um, in the shipping box, it comes in this huge box. So as you can see here, and it does say Chanel really big on the top. Then it does have the information, which I will share with you guys after I show you the bag. So it just slides, the box just slides up like that. And 
of course there was like tissue everywhere on it tissue all around the bag all over the bag um a lot of air paper i mean she did a great job packaging this bag and it's a huge bag so it's like it was stuffed so here is the chanel dust bag it's just the typical uh black dust bag and i will go ahead and show you the bag that i purchased and i'll show you the um information and everything that comes with the receipt um hirsch lifers you know they the way they send it it's just a piece of paper and then letting you know how many items you purchased and all that stuff so like i said i did unbox it okay without further ado here is the chanel deville and this is the, the deville tote and this is the black calfskin now it has the black calfskin leather with the grained uh calfskin i believe that's what it's called again could be wrong but i believe that's the way they yeah so it's calfskin and then grave ca gray graved calf <laughs> calfskin all here all over here and then the piping the handles actually no not the piping the inside of the bag i don't know if you can see like this part of the bag has the grained calfskin the handles have the grave calf the grained calfskin why do i keep saying grave um these straps as you can see here have the grained calfskin and all throughout weaved into the silver chain and the uh magnetic closure here is the grained calfskin and also all lined on the interior of the bag is the grained calfskin. I'm going to be saying grained like every, <laughs> every second. And then the bottom has the grained calfskin and it's got a pretty good base, but as you can see, it's still a slouchy bag, but it still has structure because of the piping and because of the, the lining here, but it has the four silver feet at the bottom with the grained calfskin at the bottom as well. So hopefully I've said grained enough for you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the tag information in just a minute, but I love this bag because it looks just like the, uh, tweed one, but it's just, it's black and it's subtle with the, you know, Chanel written across with the CCs and then the 31 Rue Cam uh, Cambon, uh, Paris on there, which I absolutely love. Another thing that what I absolutely loved about this bag too, is what's not on the, um, the uh, tweed uh, Deville the fabric one is it has the back pocket so as you can see it has like that Mona Lisa smile back pocket on the back which I absolutely absolutely love and it's quilted so it's just it's perfect and it fits your phone really nicely I have the 6 plus and so you can just uh, slide the phone in there and it just fits beautifully in this bag this bag is really lightweight. Obviously, it's the interior is not full leather, so um, but it, it is lined. It does have uh, leather lining. Also, the bag has the two handles, the shoulder strap handles, which, like I said, are the grain calfskin, and then the handles, which are the the grain calfskin as well. I love this because you can. It's very versatile. You can wear it different ways. Let me go ahead and take the air bubble out. It's like a massive air bubble here. They do have uh, the different uh, sizes of this bag. I can tell you that. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to show. I'm involved in a group message with my family and it's constantly going off and it drives me nuts. So here's the way it looks without the stuffing in there. But as you can see, it's still a pretty big bag. I didn't bring my measuring tape to uh, measure it for you guys, but I can do that if you want to see a review later on or, you know, comparing it uh to you know other totes that i have even though i don't have a tote this big so here's the you know the typical paperwork it has the cleaning cloth in here and uh the you know how to take care of the bag so obviously uh, um anyway on the inside i don't know what i'm saying it has the um little uh strap thing it's in leather as well and you can hook anything onto it which i absolutely love it does have a back zip pocket and here it does say um, Chanel Did it say Chanel Paris no Chanel made in I think this one's made in Italy right yeah made in Italy I don't know if you can see that 
but it has that gorgeous gray interior and the interior looks like the um, the color of the gray duvel that I had um, the fabric one this one also has two slip pockets so one here and then another one here which is a good size uh, you can't fit the six plus sideways but you can fit it up you know horizontally vertically whatever the heck sorry guys don't judge me but I love the interior of the bag you can see it's so big such a big bag um I don't think the measurements yeah the measurements are not on here um I know I'm gonna get questions this bag was 36 I mean 3400 so it was eight hundred dollars more than um the than the material one than the tweed version but nonetheless you're paying for the leather, the quality and all that. Like I said, it's lined. It's all lined all around with the grain calf skin and the closure and all that. And, um, it is a strong magnetic closure. So you can still have some security with it. Um, but I love the bag and you can carry it both ways. Um, I can do some mod shots later on. If you guys want me to review the bag or, you know, see what I carry it in it and everything, I don't know what else to say about the bag. All I know is that I was crossing my fingers when I was unboxing it yesterday and I was hoping, hoping, hoping that I would love it because I only seen it in pictures and I'm like, oh, it just looks so, you know, the leather looks just so super shiny. It kind of looks like when you look at it here, it kind of almost looks like patent leather, but it's, it's not, it is a little bit, it has some sheen to it, but it's not as glossy as patent leather in case any of you are interested in the bag and just don't like the patent leather look i love it so and i'm not a fan of patent leather bags i like the way they look but you know it's not for me but i just love i mean it's it has gorgeous glazing uh um the bag is just it's it's beautiful i mean a beautiful beautiful bag um like I said, it has the hand, the, you know, the gorgeous handles here, the, um, let me see. You can see, yeah, you'll be able to see the glazing here. You'll be, see, be able to see some of the glazing there and just the way the handles are. They are just beautiful. I'm telling you, if you look at this bag in person, you will fall in love with it because it's just that pretty. It's that nice. And I absolutely love the leather pocket in the back. Yeah. And it's real versatile. You can you take this, I mean, anywhere. I mean, that's personally, that's my opinion. It's a great travel bag and it has the nice grommets here, um, that say, you know, 31 Rue Cambon, Cambon, uh, Paris. And then it says Chanel at the bottom here. I still have the blue tape on there. And let me go ahead and show you the information before I forget. It did come with a tag. You can pause it if you are interested. Actually, can you see that? Probably won't be able to see it because it is black. Uh, the black black background kind of washes it out. But you can push pause here. There's all the information that you would need right there. So yeah, um, that's it. I think pretty much. Um, it is available at Hershlifers. Um, dot com. You can't order it obviously on, on the website, but you go to hershlifers.com and you can sign up to have a personal shopper assigned to you. They will email you and they can send you their merchandise on what they have in stock from a Chanel or and various brands. They do carry a lot of brands, Celine, um, Balenciaga, uh, Christian Louboutin, um, just different brands. Now they don't carry, uh, Louis Vuitton. So, but, and the, the best part about it is they are located in, um, New York. And, but one of the best things about it is that it's tax free. So I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to pay taxes on this gorgeous bag, but it's beauty. It's a beauty nonetheless. And I would have paid taxes either way. So anyway, guys, I hope this, um, this was, uh, <laughs> you know, had some good information and all that. Um, like I said, I can do a separate review, um, at a later date. You guys let me know and let me know what you think of the bag, uh, this one versus the other one. So anyway, y'all hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.